I think I don't like to, to blend passively, to blend down. I want to start with very active playing and then <clears throat> kind of sound the edges off it, if you like. So I'm not working to kind of build something. I'm working to sort of take something which is sort of almost overly energetic and sort of, and sort of pare it down and, and organize it. Quite a lot of the players come from string quartets or are principals of orchestras, leaders of orchestras. So they bring that sort of energy into the room with them. And I spend my time as best I can molding that energy, almost taming it at times. So we go for a very active sound, a very active articulation, There's a in certain intensity to the string sound, which is which is quite unusual these days. It's It's not that much in fashion, but if you were to talk to many of the string players in the orchestra, we like the same players. We talk about Heifetz a lot, we talk about Piatagorsky, you know, there's, there's a kind of, there's a slightly old-fashioned string sound. Well, they're all individuals who are very talented and very experienced. These are players I've worked with in, in some instances for, for 30 years. You know, the section principals and I have had conversations about who else should be in the section, who thinks the same way, plays the same way. So there's a kind of core of players who know exactly what it is that I'm looking for because we've worked together for so many years. And I guess that's the shortcut to, to working really efficiently. I always feel when we start rehearsals, we, we hit the ground running. Bring the arts home with Marquee TV.